Hi, welcome to the video. My name is Iconic, and today we're we'll taking a look at the Destiny 2 weekly reset for June 14th, 2022. And from what I can tell, there's nothing special going on this week other than the uh, the regular stuff. First up, let's go ahead and take a look at the Nightfall ordeal. This week we're gonna have the Corrupted. The Corrupted, um, it's kind of hard, and it's also a very long one. It's the Taken one with the Taken Tech Witch at the end. Um, Good luck with this one. As far as 100k goes, I would like recommend Legend. It's one of those ones that is so long, you start to lose points. So Legend's probably going to be what you need. And to be honest, I don't know what the Nightfall Unique is going on right now, because yet again, we had another patch this week, and that usually messes up like GG. <laughs> I mean, we haven't seen the Comedian Shotgun in a while, so maybe it's that. I don't know. Anyways, for the Vanguard Ops, we have the Void Singe. Rotating Crucible playlist is going to be Mayhem, and I love me the Mayhem. Oh, and, you know, and the Crucible mode, too. As for the Vault of Glass challenge, it's everything. Uh, specifically, the Vault of Glass is going to be the one that's chosen for Pinnacle this week. So, the Pinnacle raid stuff outside of the current one is this one. And it's, um, every challenge. I don't know why. And the rotating pinnacle dungeon is going to be Grasp of Avarice. The Valve Disciple raid challenge this week is going to be Swift Destruction. Taking place in the first major encounter in the raid. This is the one where you're actually in the actual raid, not the car part. And in this encounter, anytime you take down the Unstoppable Champions, you have to take them all down at about the same time. So you have to spawn them all, keep them all alive, kill them all about the same time. <laughs> Yo, 69 days left in the season. That means around 10 weeks. Let's go. Up next for the next set of seasonal challenge for week four. And I also have this one done as well, which is plus plus all artifact word. Well, 12 out of 12 artifact mod. Yeah. Right. So the first one's obviously going to be the bind bound and star of four completed the next part and centurion kills on the Leviathan defeat combatants with melee abilities. Ooh, the hammer is looking real nice for this one. <laughs> Solar melee abilities and defeated nightmares give you more. Do the next set of sever. And this one actually gives you a figment of darkness, which you'd love to see. Extract a deep sight haunted weapon. Obviously getting 12 artifact mods. Calibrate marksman weapons, scout rifles, snipers, linears, and getting precision final blows. Killing powerful combatants and gambit and better for high values. Defeating guardians and mayhem with supers. And completing any nightfall strike on hero or higher out of three. Up next, let's take a look at ever versus inventory hey look at the hammer uh <laughs> i don't know that's funny uh first up we have a sparrow known as the exu which looks like this we have an ornament for the Deathbringer, which looks very nice i might add Ooh, look little eyeball right there actually one of the higher dps in the game if you don't know uh we have a ghost projection with the hammer uh, and of course a transmit effect that looks like this a stasis entrance for the other bright dust section first of all we have the splish splash emote which you just big old boots look at the size of those boots that's some titan boots right there splish splash in a puddle of water we have the floating dance which looks a little bit like this and fortunately my animated fire is in the wrong position uh we have an ornament uh, for the ghost shell or specifically a ghost shell that looks like this it's like a it's like a modern jellyfish or something. Uh, we have an ornament for the Epicurean, which is an old ornament, I think, uh, which is why I actually have it uh, from a long time ago. Uh, we have the Shining uh, Cabriolet, uh, which is a ship. We have the legs for whatever class you're currently on. I'm on my Titan, so I do see the Titan one. Obviously, this is the fire set that people really like. Uh, we have some transmit effects. First one that looks like this, signal process. We have the only finest, which looks like this. We have the fallen arrival, which looks like that. And of course, we have a bunch of different shaders. First step, we have the time honor. Keep in mind uh, the weapon. We have the wafers guys, which looks like just love how Laura like colors with that face thing. Uh, we have the Hazard Pay, which looks like that. And then finally, the Sunrise Warrior. Probably one of the better pinks in the game, in case you wanted pink stuff. And I'm realizing now that the Bastion is not painting at all. And of course, let's go ahead and take a look at the Gunsmith's inventory. Look, he's got a Telesto! First up, we have the 340 Pulse Rifle Legal Action 2, which is heating up Adrenaline Junkie, which is actually a good roll, considering it's an extra damage perk, has some range stuff in here, has some recoil control, and of course, some reload. I personally would like to see a bit more handling as options within here, especially on this weapon here that has uh, pretty low handling. Uh, but to be honest, the Messenger is better than this anyways, and the new Purpose, which I actually have on right now. Following that, we have the Reginald D, which is auto-loading one two punch, which is almost exactly the shotgun that I have. Um, it, all, it does not have the assault mag, which you'd like to see, but it does have, have some handling stuff. So. Uh, after that, the 450 auto rifle, the number, a decent set of perks, although you could definitely do a lot better here, and I personally don't like 450s. Following that, the funnel web with auto loading elemental, not really what you're looking for. It does have frenzy as an option, and I highly recommend, although a pended mag and chamber compensator is pretty good on this. After that, the Memory Interdict, Quick Draw Unrelenting. Again, not really my favorite, although it does have Spike Grenade. You could definitely do better with Interference or GL5. And finally, the Palermo B, which has Impulse plus 
the explosive light and it has impact casing with a reload master if you don't know i think this increase yeah this increases your reload and your velocity so this is a very good role i personally still like auto loading here but this is probably one of the better roles you can have on the player map and of course if you haven't seen it already i do live stream right after all of these videos right here on youtube so just stick around for that notification and of course a big thank you to my patrons on patreon specifically a big thank you to Mom and Dad, Pasta Loans, Unbox the World, Monday, Steve Bachman, Student Panther, and Case Rack, and Father Support on Patreon. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. My name is Chronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.